So I recently updated my software to version 0.8. With that you not can only use the Xbox One controller, so you can use any kind of input device. Uh, in this case it's direct input and in my case it's a pretty old Cyborg 3D USB joystick. Pretty nice thing, pretty good quality. I actually like it a lot. So let's see. Let's jump right into it. If you want to my software, if you want the STL files to print anything for your Xbox One controller, you need to get to my Patreon page. Patreon.com slash J-N-B-E-A-N. J-N-B, by the way. If you are on my Patreon page and you are a subscriber, you can get to these downloads and here you will see the newest version. The newest version is 0, 0 0.8 with a little tutorial, but you don't need this because I'm going to tell you right now. First, we're going to download this zip file. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Let's minimize this. Here it is. Um, I'm going to unpack this right on my desktop. You can unpack that wherever you want. This is the folder you downloaded and here you can see the layouts folder. There are all layouts saved. There are three sample files you can use if you want to use. If you don't want to use it, you can just delete them with your delete key. Just a normal file. This one is the application itself. You will start it as administrator and then you can see all the magic happening. Here are the three layouts we just seen in this layouts folder. With this you can select six gear. That's the layout that's actually loaded right at the moment. You can use automatic, you can use sequential. These are just my layouts I've used. To, I, I've tested them in BeamNG and they're actually quite fun. So the new thing in uh, version 0 0.8 is the actual uh, differentiation between the Xbox input and the direct input. In this case, it's uh, a joystick and in this case, it, hmm, it won't work because I didn't plug in my joystick. Right now we can see here in direct input, you see this Cyborg 3D USB and that's actually this one I just plugged in. With activate you will see this small black dot and it's going to paint the moving of the actual joystick as you can see here. You can actually use that however you want. You can just take the first gear in this example, you can set it wherever you click. First gear up there, second gear wherever. This is just this standard H pattern on a regular manual shifter. With the reset image button, you can reset the image. <laughs> Who would have thought? This is just a list for all the layouts. As I said before, you can load them. And if you're changing something like this first gear, whatever, you can change that and either save it as the original name with this uh, sequential or you can name it whatever you want and will it will appear in this list and it will appear in this folder I showed you before in this layouts folder so you can delete it however you want and you can save them right there so the uh, changing between the Xbox One controller and the direct input is actually just plug is, is actually just possible while using the software and does not need any restarts or anything. So right now, as I was asked on YouTube, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's Zikitze. Zikisi, zik, zikisi, um, oh, I, I hope I spelled that wrong, uh, right? So he asked me if I can do something like this, the PR, PR NDL and my layout I used for this is this automatic layout, you can load that. And these are the gears used for Beam and G. Because I'm a cheap 
fuck, I just don't have any kind of wheel. So for my foot pedals, I'm actually using a Bluetooth page flip controller to actually change your PDF page while you're making music. However, it's actually quite usable as a throttle and brake pedal. So let's see. Right now we're in automatic mode. So you can see as well on the right, on the top there's uh, my parking. Right down below there's my reverse gear. This is net, uh, neutral and down here is automatic driving. So let's test that out. Mm, quite laggy, nice. That mouse is pretty disturbing. That is actually working pretty fine. So let's see. Ah, direct shifting into reverse and of course the car is not going to come out of there. So this is uh, the sequential mode I just used. So for a sequential mode you, to use, you need to change your actual controls. Didn't show you that. The first gear is one, key one. The second gear is key two. The third gear is key three and so on and so on. Reverse gear is actually a key nine. I will update this in a further software update. So you actually can choose the gear or the key you want to set when the gear is set. What I need to change for the sequential shifting is I need to shift up with key one. Yes, we said that. And shift down for key two for shift down. This is how I set my layout. The first gear, as you can see here, the red one is up, so shift up. And the orange down here is the second gear, so shift down. We'll see that right in a minute. So let's see. That's shifting up and let's test that. I am not the best driver as you can see, but the shifter is working pretty nice. So let's test the last feature. You already seen in my last video that the shifter on the Xbox controller itself is working pretty fine. Let's just see the gear plus R load layout. With this load layout button you can load the layout and then you can... Of course I need to change the control for the first and second gear. You can always use the keyboard, you don't have to use the joystick for it. So let's see if I can shift in those gears without without any layout on the joystick itself. I've already tested it with, uh, with some uh, cardboard. You see right here, this is just a little bit of piece of cardboard. I just set that in this joystick so it's staying in position for uh, first gear or for the automatic shifting for parking reverse neutral and automatic driving let's see if i can use this one to shift manually of course i need a car that is able to shift manually and let's see if i can do anything oh that already looks quite good <laughs> Missed that gear. Where's the fourth? <laughs> fourth gear. It's actually pretty usable. So if you just design yourself a little piece of cardboard or maybe a little piece of uh, wood, you can use the H pattern and design your joystick however you want. Maybe you're more after seven or eight gears. That would be just something you need to ask me. 
because that's not implemented right now. However, it is pretty useful. Not for me, because I uh, don't have any kind of steering wheel, but... It's always the problem with testing my software, I just can't seem to stop at any given point, so let's just crash that thing in the wall and... Nice! That is really all I wanted to show you today, so if you like my work, if you actually like what I do, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you, however, don't like what I've done here, giving me a thumbs down and maybe let me know what I can do better the next time. Consider being my Patreon, you will get access to the software and all the STL files for this nice little 3D printed gearbox for the Xbox One controller. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for version 0.8. The next video will be for new features. However, if you want new features, feel free to comment um, anything else. Not right now. However, thank you for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, I would say. I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. And I deleted my notes. That's pretty nice. So. This is the second dry as yes, uh, the first one was recorded with 720p and that's usually not a good idea on a 2k monitor because no one can see any fucking thing on my fucking screen. So <laughs> take two. Wait a second and start again. All right, so...